Greetings, Israel. Elder DFG. How many of you guys are familiar with High Altitude Aeronautics Research Program? In other words, uh, the abbreviation for the word HARP. I just want to bring that up just to um, share with my brothers and sisters that, you know, we have been hearing a lot about, you know, agenda, at least some of us, those of us who should know, watch men. Watch women. Or well, at least those women or sisters or daughters who got their eyes open. Maybe that's a better way to say that. But we've all heard about uh, Agenda 2025. Now, of course, that's what the, you know the heathens are calling it. But in all actuality, you know, that is biblical last day judgment uh, prophecy. You know, they're saying the things that they're saying because they want to take everybody's attention off of Yahuwah, of course. They want you to believe that, you know, this is some man-controlled event that, you know, at the end of the day, you know, they get to, 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 to decide who the winners and the losers are going to be. But in all actuality, you know, they deceive themselves and unfortunately, they deceive the masses because the masses you know, are not aware of what's going on because the masses, you know, have their minds everywhere but on Yahuwah and his Torah, learning and studying and growing and staying informed so that whatever wicked agenda that the Most High is allowing to happen, because he brings forth good and he brings forth evil, for those of you who don't know that, you know, it's just to make sure that you stay distracted or they stay distracted, you know, so that, you know, what they're doing or trying to avoid from happening to them, what they're doing to avoid the consequences that's coming towards them, those who are behind such programs as Agenda uh, 2025 and HARP and, you know, the whole, you know, vaccine program, okay, we know what that's all about. Because they were told, many were telling us, and they were told by the by the fallen, the aborigines, the aborig the aborigines, you know, those who are hidden in plain sight, ghouls, ghosts, demons, whatever you want to call them, evil spirits, the fallen angels, have g given them all that technology, all of that information, you know, in order to make sure that they bow down or continue to do the blood sacrificing and everything else they need to do to be able to, to, to spare themselves so that those demon forces can not only come forward from, you know, behind, you know, the so-called veil, the wall, Antarctica, wherever they are, the oceans, marine spirits, so that they can be strengthened and that they can dominate and rule on top of this earth as their ancestors did prior to the days of, you know, the flood. And now there's a repeat of it happening again. And I bring this up to my brothers and sisters because when you think about, here's an example for, uh, with Harp, that hurricane, a little name Barrel, you know, that was barreling through, you know, the uh, Atlantic and then through the Caribbean islands and now going up through, you know, Houston areas, more or less a tropical storm depression uh, most likely at this particular time. But anytime you see a Category 5 hurricane going in places that you haven't seen going before, you better believe, you know, that the heathens and their gods are, are, are putting their plan in play. And most of our people, you know, they're not even aware of it or if they are aware of it, they're not understanding, you know, the seriousness of the times that we are living in. And I just want to say to my brothers and sisters, you know, this summer is going to say a whole lot about what's going to happen this winter. And remember, 2025, brothers and sisters, what, five months away? Five months away. That's not a long time. It's going to pass real fast. And every plan that they have in play, I can assure you, is going to get executed, not because they're so smart and they're so effective. No, because Yahuwah is going to allow it to happen because Yahuwah is going to judge this place. This whole earth, it doesn't matter where you are. And I'll say this to, to my brothers and sisters, the one tent out there, you know, find comfort in that. Because you're not going to be able to find it in anything else. Find comfort that Yah is going to judge it and find comfort that Yah is going to put a hedge around us 
so that we don't have to be overtaken by it. And we'll see a lot of it. Many of us will see it. Our hearts will hurt. There'll be tears from our eyes. But yet Yah will strengthen us. And again, you know, if you, you know, with, you know, myself, you know, you're with, you know, the DFG families, what we call ourselves, studying, you know, through the Tanakh studies on Wednesday nights, and you're following this channel, you subscribe to this channel, then understand you're there for a reason. Yah put you there. And if they're not, or if you were, or, and you're no longer, guess what? He told you to go away too. Again, he not only does good, he does evil. So he'll let an evil spirit come on many and run them off. Or they, they won't recognize it because they're too proud to recognize it. Too much pride. But Yah, again, you know, think about it. He allowed Balaam to do what Balaam did, right? Just to later on, what killed his wicked behind. But he told him, Balaam, go ahead on with your program. I told you to turn back, but you want to do it anyway. I told you to stick with, with, with me, but you decided you want to play, you know, uh, the selfish game. You wanted to be all about you, Balaam. And so if you were with us in the Tanakh study uh, this past Wednesday, you know ultimately what happened to Balaam. <laughs> yeah, I got him. Did a lot of damage to our people, like the you know infiltrators inside of Israel. Our people will do anyway. Sabotages, undermining, again, rebellious, pride, petty, foolish, ignorant, unlearned, and hateful. I about get all of my thing. Did I say rebellious too? Idolaters? <laughs> pagans with that to be said you know I just want to share again with my brothers and sisters keep your eyes open we were reminded you know in, in, in the last day prophecy from Isaiah that you know in the last days you know when the uh, what do you, how do you say it, my brother desolation uh, the land being uh, in it in habitable in other words you can't in, in habitual or inhabitable I can't get that word out but inhabit you're not going to be able to inhabit the land because of the destruction that's going to come through these weather weapons they're using you know nuclear you know energy that they're going to use weapons diseases and hunger because they're killing everything with these heat waves that's, that's intentional and so you know we're being warned and we're you know and it's for us to understand that Yah said in Isaiah 6 that would have eyes to see but cannot see ears to hear but they would not hear in other words they would be aware some would even you know come all the way out and then turn right turn right back around and go right back in uh, Sister Maria uh, called it out when she said like the dog going back to his vomit just as the proverb says and the proverb does say that that many of our people would be like dogs D-O-G-S going back or returning back to the vomit Y'all took them out of the mess, you know, and led them in the right direction, but they could not stand the heat of the world, for lack of a better word. They couldn't take the heat. They could not take the judgment. When y'all send the prophet and the messenger to warn them, you know, instead of them repenting, <laughs> they did just the opposite. They rebelled. So it's okay. That's not our problem, you know, but to you, the 110, those of you who love Yahuwah, who love his word, who study the word, who are fellowshipping with like-minded brothers and sisters who love and study Yah's word. You know, I want to tell you, you know, stay prepared. Do not take your eye off of what's going on around you and do not underestimate it because we're notorious for that. Letting, you know, distractions get in the way. You follow me? Of, of, of major events, things that really matter. I was saying, you know, getting caught in the weeds. You know, we have to stay clear-minded. We have to stay uh, focused and we have to be, you know, Torah-centric. You know, we need to make sure we're obeying that Torah, those commandments. If we need to make sure that we're obeying Yahuwah's uh, Shabbat. I know a lot of, the, you know, these heathens told us it didn't matter and, you know, the Shabbat is no longer here or it's an eternal Shabbat. They're lying their asses off. You shouldn't believe them. And again, I've said before, that New Testament book is full of sorcery lies. Talking about, you know, all kind of aboriginal things coming back from the grave, you know, and people talking and having visitations. It's as wicked as wicked could be. 
The whole book over there is wicked. Yeah, there's some truths over there, but I can assure you, if you're studying your Tanakh, you'll see where they plagiarize all of that stuff that's true over there. They plagiarize that, and the rest of it just sorcerers lies, brothers and sisters. And we should have a, a righteous indignation against that book, and we have a right to have a righteous indignation to anybody who's trying to perpetuate that book upon us. And don't be bashful. Don't be shy when they come at you with that foolishness. You know, uh, give you just an easy one for me. The other uh, earlier today, you know, I went to the you know to the post office, looking some business, and uh, the, the the postal worker said, you know, how was your Fourth of July? I said I don't celebrate that. I said, oh, and then she went on to tell me about up in Massachusetts uh, some uh, celebration they're having with this lawyer who was the first lawyer who petitioned against slavery in Massachusetts. But I bet you if I'd said I'd celebrate the 4th of July, she never would have brought that into the conversation. This was, you know, an Edomite. But, you know, if you want respect, you got to take a stand for what you believe, brothers and sisters. And Yai is listening and writing down everything. So, you know, you can't be coy. You can't be, oh, it was okay knowing you don't believe in that. Oh, it's okay knowing you didn't celebrate it. No. You tell them, no, I don't do that. I don't celebrate that. Because if you don't, you could very well be encouraging them to do it indirectly. Not intentionally, but indirectly. Because when you say, you know, you acknowledge it, then what you're telling them is okay when we know it isn't okay. All right? So keep that in mind, you know, as well. Because we don't want anything, you know, to cause these curses, you know, to overcome us. Or to overtake us, better say it. All right, and a way to keep that ha from happening is, you know, is keeping the Shabbat, you know, not participating in these uh, wicked feast days and fest days, festival days that these these heathens have conjured up to all of their, you know, you know, blood, uh, you know, spilling. But that's what it's all about to them. Everything about them is blood spilling, killing something. If you look just a little bit behind that, you're gonna find that. Oh, they put the little funny family spin on it because they're clever that way. So be mindful of that. You, again, if y'all is listening to everything, you know, and you're not uh, courageous and, and you're fearful, then how can you say that you trust in Yahuwah? How can you say that if you allow them to cause you to do anything that you know goes against Yah's law, statutes, and commandments? That's not trust. Trust me, you take a stand and you you don't you hang in there. Because the stuff that's coming again this summer, this winter, if you if you don't have your mind made up and you double minded, you you know you still, you know, uh what would be a better word? I guess <laughs> unsure, <laughs> afraid then you know it's time to, to, to get yourself strong because you're gonna get you're gonna you're gonna get harm in ways you cannot even imagine because y'all is gonna pull down this fire on these on this these this wicked earth and he is not gonna be playing brothers and sisters he is not gonna be a joke they think it's a joke now because you know they they nothing has happened he's nothing you know on a scale that they think is is you know what I'm saying it's end time you know level catastrophic they don't they don't they don't they don't because that nothing catastrophic has happened so they look at it like oh that's just over there oh that's just down in jamaica oh that's just here that's just there they don't understand there are things happening all over this earth this country don't report on that stuff anymore the news is just for programming you to believe whatever the hell you know the the hidden hands want you to be thinking to control you why they call it television? Program, programming, seducing spirits, divination. It's so all that television is. It's a div it's a divination box to cast spells on individuals who can't seem to, you know, break away from it and you know and give that time to, to Yah and to his Torah and his Tanakh. With so little time left, what do you think your priorities ought to be? What's coming on television? What's happening on TikTok? Or what is that book saying 
in order that you will get Yah's mercy and Yah's grace. If everything written is coming, written that is coming, brothers and sisters, we're talking about months, not years away. So I think, you know, it's time to hunker down if you're not certain. It's time to hunker down if you know you've been, I'll call it wavery minded, back and forth. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna go, I'll come when I get time. I'll check in. Now, y'all don't work like that. Either you're all the way in or you're checking out. In other words, you're gonna get left out. Somebody gotta say it. You know, it's time for grinding. It's time to grind it to powder, as the old saying goes. We need, you need to, you need to have your mind on Yah. You need to have, and you can't have your mind on Yah if you ain't studying His Word. So cut that out. That's that Christianity stuff. Well, He knows my heart. Well, Jeremiah seventeen and nine said, "Yeah," and He says, "Definitely wicked, unimaginable." <laughs> See, I try to your works. See, I try what you do. Yah said, "I don't care nothing about what you say. I, I, I try your actions." The heathen told you, oh, no, that's faith, faith. So that, they, they think they can work their way. Well, if you're dealing with Jesus, I guess you're saying Jesus could do everything for you. So I guess Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shah, Yahushua, whatever. You can, I guess that's the lie you believe then. Because it is a lie. That Tanakh and Torah say, Yah is going to watch what we do, brothers and sisters. He says, I, I try the ways of a man. I try your act. I try, I watch, you know, what you do. Our life should be like, you know, like a like a husbandry or a farmer planting seeds and, and they're in crops coming up. That's exactly what Jeremiah 17, 9, you know, uh, speaks to 10. Read it for yourself. You don't take my word for it. But at the end of the day, my word is true because I'm going to tell you what Yah said, whether you like it or not. But that to be said, you know, it's a tough time coming, brothers and sisters. I think that category, in June, a category five hurricane? Come on, guys. Seriously. There are all these other, you know, events that are happening worldwide, hunger, hailstorms, you know, in places where it never even rained before. <laughs> Dubai, places like that. What the heck is going on? Uh, uh, what they say? They claim they are seeding the clouds, cloud seeding, floods, tornadoes, earthquakes, earthquakes. Famine, diseases, pigs, pestilence. We talked about that again, you know, in 4 Ezra on Shabbat. Go read it, chapter 15. Read it for yourself or go back and look at the Shabbat message uh, on the channel. And then line it up, line up on line, precept on precept. Isn't that what we taught? Not only in God's Word, we're supposed to be looking at the events and lining that up too. What are the indicators? What are the signs? How do I know? Where do I fit in? Am I in? Am I in? Or am I out thinking I'm in? Your actions are going to speak a whole lot louder than words with that one. So I just wanted to just, you know, share with my brothers and sisters that, you know, you know, I don't say well, this summer, summertime is here. Yes, it's summer. Maybe this last year. Hallelujah. All right, my brothers and sisters. I hope you're listening. Again, you're invited to join us on Tanakh Studies. You know, subscribe to the channel. You know, I want to thank my brothers and sisters who are always standing with me. You know, helping, supporting, you know, giving alms. You know, partnership. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to thank, uh, what is it, uh, Sister Greer. Uh, uh, Sister Stewart, uh, Brother Mobile Mechanics, Brother Johnson, Sister Jackson. You know, for your thoughtfulness, your giving, your sharing, because it makes a difference. It helps. Sorry about that. I the phone down. You know, it definitely makes a difference, and it's, and it's very much, you know, appreciated. And I know I forgot somebody, hallelujah. But, again, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you, Conley, from the bottom of my heart. Y'all see what you're doing. He's going to bless you for doing it. 
and those other two I didn't mention you it's not because I don't know you know I just you know I had the thing written down beyond which I slipped through the console and somebody can say what are you doing driving and talking uh, brother DFG I don't know trust in Yah that if he tell me to say something I'm going to say it <laughs> I don't recommend it but again Hallelujah. Like the guy on the chariot, you know, with that that was shooting arrows. He was fighting, but he was still driving that chariot, right? He was shooting the bow and driving the chariot. So sometimes the word come out whether I'm in the chariot or standing on the ground. The most important thing is the word is coming out. So again, stay mindful. You know, stay alert. Don't, est don't underestimate these indicators that we're seeing, brothers and sisters. You know, the demons, you know, they're trying to get back here. They're trying to get control of what's going on. They're back here, but now they're trying to get control. The monoliths are, are starting to come up again. Uh, Sister Tammy, I think, sent me something on that just recently. But this, again, it's just so many different things that are happening, brothers and sisters. So many things. And if you're not aware of those things, then that's why you have a watchman. You know, to, to, to bring those things to your attention. You should have one. Hallelujah. Well, you got this one. <laughs> if you choose to, you know, be here with us, with me. But again, I just want to say to my brothers and sisters, be careful, be mindful. You know, don't listen to all these naysayers out there talking about, oh, ain't nothing happened. They've been saying that. They always saying that kind of stuff. Until something actually happens, praise you. I found what I was looking for. Hallelujah. Brother Starks, yeah. Okay, thank you. I'm going to go through the list one more time. Brother Johnson, uh, Howard Greer, Mobile, Mobile Mechanics, Stuart Starks, and Jackson. Thank you, guys, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, and all you others, too. Hallelujah. So, that to be said, you know, it's your brother, your elder DFG, and hope you thumb up this message share this message but more important brothers and sisters get in the book not the new twistament that's nothing but lies over here getting into not getting the Torah that's where the testimonies are and that's where Yah's laws and statutes and he said that if we do those things we'll be blessed that's what Deuteronomy 28 1 to 14 is talking about he said if we do those things we'll be blessed that's how we learn to be blessed because we do the things that Yahuwah has ascribed to us through his Torah and then we have testimonies of Thousands and thousands, millions of people who lived their best, you know, lives because they did exactly that. And they left a, re a record. Call it Tanakh. The world want to call it Old Testament to let us know Yah's word is true. Hallelujah. But you're not going to experience his, his truth strength and all of his might. You know, if you're wavering minded or you're distracted or you're listening to what these heathens are telling the Israelite heathens to, turn them off and turn your hua on. All right. That's all I have for right now as I hit this chariot, <laughs> hit the horses. All right, brothers and sisters. Yahuwah, Shalom, Elder DFG.